COVID-19 has dominated the headlines over the last year, and tonight 22 News anchor Rich Tedimer takes a look at the COVID timeline that started in the early days of 2020. Over the last year, COVID-19 has taken over all aspects of our lives. The virus has evolved from an isolated disease in a region of China to a global pandemic that has killed over 2.6 million people worldwide, has brought countries to a standstill, pushed hospital systems to the brink, and dragged the global economy into recession. Here's how the pandemic has evolved. On January 9, 2020, the World Health Organization announces there's a mysterious coronavirus-related pneumonia in Wuhan, China. At this point, the WHO still has doubts about how serious the virus is. There were 59 cases so far, and travel precautions were already being considered. On January 21st, a Washington state resident becomes the first person in the United States with a confirmed case of the virus, having returned from Wuhan on January 15th. The CDC soon deploys a team to help with the investigation, including potential use of contact tracing. On January 31st, with a worldwide death toll of more than 200 and nearly 10,000 cases, the WHO issues a global health emergency for just the sixth time ever. Human to human transmission is quickly spreading and can now be found in the United States, China, Germany, Japan, Vietnam, and Taiwan. On February 3rd, the Trump administration declares a public health emergency and global air travel is restricted. The month of March is when coronavirus exploded. The WHO declared a global pandemic on March 11th. Locally, the day before, the Hoyok St. Patrick's parade was canceled. Local schools and colleges were closed that week and forced into remote learning. Restaurants and malls and businesses closed down. Some of America's workforce began to work from home, but millions lost their jobs. The NBA, the NHL, and Major League Baseball all shut down. They would all resume their seasons before the end of summer. An outbreak at the Hoyok Soldiers' Home claimed the lives of at least 76 veterans. Also in March, after first saying that Matt Masks for most of us were not needed. The CDC recommended that people wear masks in public settings and went around people who don't live in your household, especially when other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain. By the month of May, over 100,000 people in the U.S. had died of COVID-19. Near the end of September, we passed 200,000 people. That number is now over 529,000, by far the most in the world, with more than 29 million people in the U.S. testing positive since the pandemic began. But now we have vaccines to protect us against the virus, and vaccinations are taking place. Schools are returning from remote learning, and restrictions are easing up on restaurants and on travel. There is hope on the horizon as we look forward to some kind of return to normalcy, maybe even sometime this year. I'm Rich Tatimer. 22 News.